been decades since new storefronts came to Pecatonica. That could change in the coming months. 13 News reporter William Ingalls shows us when the project will break ground and how a new loan program from Winnebago County helped make the project happen. This is an empty field now, but Pecatonica Village Board President Bill Small says it will soon be home to a historic development for the village. You know, I've been on the village board for about 18, 18 years, and I can say this is probably the, uh, this will be the biggest thing that I have been probably in decades. Uh, to help us move a little bit and get more sales tax in. The site located on the 3100 block of Pecatonica Road doesn't have any official tenants yet. The small says one could be inked within the next month and give a big sales tax boost to the village. First one is uh, retail sales that we're pushing through, uh, which is huge for the village because it could increase our village sales tax uh, approximately $100,000 or so. Pecatonica will bring in that sales tax sooner thanks to a loan from Winnebago County for more than half a million dollars which will expedite construction. The county used to fund these types of projects with host fees from the landfill for free, but will now give the money out as a 0% interest loan so the county can start other projects in the area. And then the county will get those funds back and then we can invest in another program, um, whether it's in Pecatonica, City of Rockford, South Beloit, Rockton, wherever it may be assisted and needed. Winnebago County Director of Development Services Chris Dornbush hopes other areas see Pecatonica's use of the loan program as a motivator to start their own development projects. So once somebody kind of blazes a path and, and shows how successful it can be, I think more municipalities will be interested in doing that. Teaming up to help businesses go up in the area. For your 13 Weather Authority, William Ingalls, 13 News. Small says Pecatonica could vote on that retailer as early as next Tuesday. A second storefront could be announced as soon as June.